22-year-old Abdullah lost his arm fighting with Iraqi forces in Mosul, former bastion of the Islamic State group in Iraq. Now in neighboring Jordan, he's getting a new limb, courtesy of Doctors Without Borders. The NGO is experimenting with printing 3D prosthetic limbs. It's not easy. Everything is difficult. My brother came with me from Iraq. He helps me eat, drink, wash and change my bandage. He does everything for me. I feel sad sometimes, but I tell myself it's God's will. There's nothing I can do about it. Abdullah first receives a scan. Within 24 hours, a custom-made 3D prosthesis will be designed and printed. This workshop set up in June of last year is run by a team of engineers and physicians. The goal to provide patients with the fastest and cheapest prosthetic available. Also, the time takes, it takes to design and manufacture these is much less. And uh, the comfort to the patient we're seeing with the regular follow-ups that we have, they find the uh, 3D printed prosthesis uh, much more comfortable. Also among the project beneficiaries, seven-year-old Asil. Born with a deformed arm, this Palestinian refugee grew out of her conventional prosthetic that cost around 2,000 euros. But now, thanks to 3D technology, she'll be able to change her limb for as little as 40 euros. They made her this hand and she's no longer ashamed of it. She puts it on and can do everything with it. It's helping her and she became more confident than before. She can put it on by herself and use it without any help. Syrian refugee Ibrahim too was given a new lease of life. He lost his arm when a rocket fell on his house in Dara in 2013. As soon as I put on the prosthetic arm, things changed a bit, thank God. I'm now able to drive a bus or a car. Things have changed. The project is still in the early stages, but has already treated 15 patients. War wounded are born with malformations, helping them rebuild their bodies and their lives.